Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, hello there. Uh, Pastor Sean here, and I have the honor of bringing you the word for the day. Question for you. Do you love to sing and praise God? Are you the type of person to raise your hands during worship, to sing as loud as you can, no matter how good or bad you might be? Chances are, if you love to sing to God with all of your heart and soul, then you understand today's psalm. But if you're someone who doesn't exactly love to sing and worship, then Psalm 92 is for you to learn from. Psalm 92, verse one through four tells us this. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the 10 string lyre and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad by your deeds. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. Psalm 92 is a call for those who witness God's glory and experience his good works and grace in their lives to worship and praise him with their voice and musical talents day and night, or at least at every opportunity. To some Christians, worship on a Sunday or even listening to worship songs in your day-to-day -day life might seem like a waste of time. Or maybe they think it's just not your favorite part of service or maybe it's music you just don't typically enjoy listening to and you find it difficult to listen to. Look, verse one, the psalmist equates giving thanks to God by singing to God as a good works for us to partake in. In Ephesians 2.10, the apostle Paul tells us, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. For the Christians that don't like or appreciate singing praises to God, you need to understand two things. Number one, all good works are not for us to pick and choose from. Our life was given to all the good works that Jesus has prepared for us ahead of time. And when we choose to follow him, we forfeit our will, our pride, our reputation. And so Lord, whatever, whatever your will is for my life, I wanna do that. Whatever good works you have for me, I desire to do those things. And number two, if, if you obediently follow God's commands and good works for your life, your faith, and understanding of God and even eternity will grow. That includes the good works of singing and praising. Here's the truth, God doesn't care what your singing voice is like. In fact, he gave it to you and is still calling you to use it. So next time you have the opportunity to worship, whether that's in your car or at your church service, if you're tempted to cross your arms instead of raise them, if you're tempted to mouth out the words to the songs instead of actually sing them, if you're tempted to change the, the radio station instead of have a moment of praise on your commute, if you're tempted to care more about what others will think of you if you worship with all of your heart and soul than what your Father in heaven thinks about you, if you're tempted to think worship is a waste of time instead of seeing it as an immensely important good work of faith and opportunity for obedience to God, then I want you to stop in the middle of that temptation and just think about this. How amazing God is and how good God has been to you. Try this, close your eyes, unless you're driving, and I want you to think on all the ways God has blessed you, saved you, found you, loves you, called you out of the dark places of life, healed you, changed you for the better. And also think about how amazing our God is, his power, knowledge, goodness, willingness to save, ability to create, desire for relationship with you and his eternalness. Once you get the thoughts going about how much goodness God has in him and towards you, I want you to keep your eyes closed in service or put on a worship song on the radio and just start singing for those truths. Sing out of the joy that only his salvation can bring. Sing for the purpose he has given you. Sing for the broken and damaged life he has taken you out of. Sing with all of your heart and soul because he is so worthy to be praised by your song and calls us to this good work of singing. Let whatever song comes out of your mouth, day or night, to be a reflection of how amazing God is and how much amazing work he has done in your life. P.S. I'm really enjoying a worship song by Zach Williams called Heart of God right now. And if you have a chance to listen to it, let me know in the comments. And if you can, leave a comment of some of your favorite worship songs that you like to listen to. Let those who struggle listening to worship hear some of your songs that you love. I'll see you Saturday and Sunday, Calvary. Have a great day. And I pray you'll get some time to sing to him today.